Tom. I recently recorded a video called Something's Fishy. Uh, and today, the title of this video is Fish on Drugs. So about 20 years ago, I used to give this handout to my patients. Uh, and it says, if all the medicine in the world were thrown into the sea, it would be bad for the fish and good for humanity. O.W. Holmes, MD, professor of medicine, Harvard University. Well, guess what? We are throwing stuff into the ocean and it's not good for the fish. Yes, it is bad for the fish, but it doesn't mean that we're not taking as much. Uh, a recent study uh, showed that uh, our pharmaceuticals are going through us into our wastewater and then out into the ocean, contaminating the oceans. And a study out of Florida International University looked at 126 species of sea life, uh, primarily fish, with the focus being on, uh, I think it's the bonefish. Uh, and they're seeing more and more fish becoming, you know, their numbers dwindling, not becoming extinct quite yet, but they will be. And they want to know why in the last 40 years are, is, is this particular species of fish off the Florida coast, their numbers are down over 50%. Why could that be? Well, they started doing autopsies on the fish and finding that there were a plethora of pharmaceuticals in each of these fish. Uh, and what are they finding in the fish? blood pressure medication, antidepressants, prostate treatment medications, antibiotics, pain relievers, heart medications, antihistamines, antifungals, stomach medications, and opioids. Do fish need that? No, it makes them sick. Do humans need it? Probably not, it makes them sick. I mean, the average American consumes 12 different prescriptions Every, you know, they're on 12 different drugs. I'm on zero, that means somebody else has to be on 24. Stacia's on zero too. That means another person is on 24, just to average that out. So they looked at 126 different species and they found that on average, there were 11 different uh, pharmaceutical contaminants in each of these species of fish that they studied. Uh, and so that's very disturbing. Our wastewater, we're taking these drugs and we're passing it through our, our urine, our feces into the, the sewage and it's not being separated out because you know a lot of these they just last for for years and years and years so they're not making it into our system fully and then we're expressing them and we're contaminating mother nature we are messing up mother nature with our need for more and more drugs and of course the u.s has five percent of the population but we consume nearly 90 percent of the prescription medication uh, and that is because big pharma has a grip on uh, big government uh, and big techs in there too and media uh, and so we're taught over and over and over there's a pill for every ill how about looking for natural solutions uh, so we're we're killing the planet we're killing the fish uh, and we're killing ourselves we're not very healthy so we need healthier alternatives which is what wellness is all about how you eat how you think how you move so before you you know, just run to the doctor for a prescription. Ask yourself, is there a better alternative? Am I deficient in this medication or is it my lifestyle? Am I not living congruently with my innate genetic programming? And that's the big question for the day. This is the wellness doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Clark, asking you to like, share, and comment. Uh, and we'll talk again soon. Be sure to subscribe to our Facebook uh, page and to our YouTube channel. Catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.